Welcome back to the program. Last week on the show, we kicked off a road travel safety tips feature where a road travel safety expert, Ngovizi Tatuve, demonstrated how to do a simple tire check before hitting the road. This after revealing that tire bursts are the most common cause of accidents on our roads. Ngovizita also added that a simple test with the head of a matchstick off your tire thread marks can be the difference between determining whether or not your tires are safe for travel. He said tire marks are supposed to be two millimeters deep or more. To perform a simple test, stick the red part of a matchstick into one of the tire grooves. If the entire head disappears into the marks, the tire is still safe to use. But if any part of the red bit is sticking out, then that tire needs to be changed. This evening, Ovizita shares with us his thoughts on why sometimes tires wear out unevenly. First and foremost, before you take your journey, it's important for you to understand that your tire has got what we call treads. This is what the tire uses to grip on the road. When you brake, you need grip so that when you apply brakes, your tire can grip the road and stop. For it to be able to turn, it needs to grip. When you are driving on sand or in mud, if it is too smooth, it is going to be rolling on one place and won't be able to grip and move. There will be no traction. So these treads also work as to improve the traction. How do you know if treads are good or not? How do you know if the tire is worn out or not? Simple. When it's me, I have an instrument that we call a tread tester. It has got graduation mills. So I put it in here and I check. In this case, this one is, okay. That's about um, four mils. It is still, okay. It's four millimeters. Anything below two millimeters is not good enough. Now, at home, you do not have this instrument that I have. So, but you've got something that you can use. Uh, let me just show you. You'll be surprised because you've got that. We call this a matchstick. A matchstick has got the brown part, the one that we use to light. You take a matchstick, you put it on your tire. All the brown part should go into the thread. If any part is remaining outside, it means your tire is worn out. So you need to replace it. So if you see your tire not wearing out evenly, on the outside being worn out and on the inside being worn out but in the middle it's okay it means your car is out of alignment one thing that makes tires get worn out too quickly and prematurely is a car that is out of alignment and you'll be surprised a tire can cost you around between 400 and 500 600 puller but alignment for all for the whole vehicle will only cost you 120 puller to 200 puller and imagine you are saving 200 pula so that you can go and spend six times four. It's important for us to always take our cars for alignment once every three to four months. Why? Because the type of roads we are using are not that good. We drive off road, we drive on roads that have potholes, and as you hit potholes, your car goes out of alignment. And it also goes out of balancing. It's also very important to balance your wheels. When you take your car for balancing, they put weights on, on the rims so that the, the, the rim runs true. When we say a rim is not running true, it will be wobbling. Now, because our cars drive on uneven roads, the rim tends to bend sometimes. Now, to compensate for that slight bend, we can put weights on the what? On the rim so that it runs true and the car doesn't vibrate. Another thing, when you don't align your car, and it is out of alignment and the tire is worn out unevenly, you'll actually feel the steering vibrating. That compromises on your control. That compromises on the comfort as you are driving. And that also can cause you to lose control because if you hit a rough patch, the car tends to swing and swerve. And you can fail to control your car and you can be involved in an accident. Now, talking about rain tires, if you put a rain tire on, on a car and it is summer, and it's hot, the temperatures are going to 40, 41 degrees, the chances that it's going to blow out are very high because that tire was not made for such temperatures. So what normally happens when a tire gets uh, overheated, it blows and you lose control. And that's why we've got so many fatalities. 